Welcome back to Rooted, guys. We're going to get started here. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, it's been two weeks since we've met because of spring break, and this is kind of going to be the new normal for us here because we're all stuck at home and no one can get outside, which is really sad. Um, and I know that while you're stuck at home, it's going to be easy to be bored and annoy your parents, annoy your sister, your brother, um, your pet cat. It's, it's going to be crazy, right? Um, but I just want to encourage us here. This is what the Bible says. It says in Romans 12, 18, it says, what, if possible, on your part, live at peace with everyone, right? So what does that mean? That means that sometimes, like, maybe your brother's annoying you or your sister's annoying you, right? Just live at peace, right? It's, it's tough. We're stuck. We can't get our energy out outside like we normally do. But we can do it, guys. We can, we can push through, and we'll make it. And just got to remember to live that peace, okay? But we're going to jump into our lesson here tonight. So I'm going to pray for us, and then we're going to dive right into learning another name of God. All right, let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and fold our hands. Lord, I, I want to thank you, God, um, for cameras and for um, the internet, Lord, that we can still meet um, even while we're in our homes and uh, we can't come to church and have fun and play games like we normally do and see our friends, um, but we can still learn about the names of God. We can still learn about you and be encouraged and strengthened um, by what you have to say in your word. I um, ask that you'd help us listen and focus and pay attention right now and um, that we'd learn some more, Lord, in your name, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody sing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. One more time. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord Alright guys, so we have been talking about the names of God for a long time now, right? And each with each name we learn about God, we learn more and more and more about who God is and what he's done for us, and how strong he is, and how he can provide for us, right? But there's one thing that we still can't know God fully, right? It is not possible for us to understand everything that there is to know about God. We just can't, because we're humans, and he is God. We can't do it. We have, we have such small minds compared to God's big mind. We can't know everything there is to know about God. So the name of God that we're learning today is, is kind of an interesting one. It's a weird one. It's called the unknown name of God. And, and the unknown name of God is, is a name that's, that's mentioned in the Bible, but it's, it's literally just listed as the unknown name. We don't know anything else about it except for it's an unknown name, right? So, so here, what we're going to do, we're going to think of someone famous. So think of someone famous that you know, right? Um, I'm going to think of LeBron James, right? I know LeBron James. LeBron James is a really good basketball player. He grew up in Ohio. He played for the Cavaliers. Then he played for the Heat. Then he went back to the Cavaliers. And now he plays for the Lakers, right? I know LeBron James. But I don't really know everything there is to know about LeBron James, right? I don't know what his favorite color is. I don't know what his favorite animal is. I don't know if he likes dogs, if he likes cats. I don't know if he likes to eat cereal in the morning or if he likes to eat a granola bar or pop tarts. I don't know, but I know some things about LeBron James, right? But I don't, I don't know everything. And that's probably the same about the famous person that you thought of as well. You know, some things like you may know what car they drive, where they live, who their mom or their dad is, who the brother might be, but you can't know everything about who that person is. And the same thing, it's like the same thing. It's like the same thing with God, right? In Revelation 19, 12, it says, His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, which is like a crown. 
and he has written, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself, right? So God is so big, and he's so, so incredibly, like, large to understand that only he can truly know himself. But we have some hope, right? Because I'm hoping that since the beginning of this lesson, that since we've started studying the names of God, we have learned more and more about God and who he is, and the things, um, like looking back from when we first started, I know that I know more names of God now than I did when we started learning this a year ago, right? Because I've learned more about it. And I can always continue to learn more. I will never get to a point where I've been like, all right, I've learned enough about God, that's it. I can just kick my feet back and relax and there's nothing else to know about God. I've learned it all. That's never gonna, it's never gonna get to that point. There's always gonna be something we can do to learn more. And we're, so we're going to look in this Bible, and in Job chapter 42, we're going to learn, we're going to see what Job learned about God and how he got to know God more. Even though he can't know him completely and fully, he learned as much as he possibly could. So you guys probably know the story of Job, probably remember it, right? Job was really faithful. He had a wife, kids. He had like the nicest house, a ton of animals, a ton of like camels and sheep. Um, and God took all that away from him, right? He took his health away from him. He took everything he could away from him. And towards the end of the book of Job, this is Job talking to, to God. And this is what he says. He says, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides the counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak, I will question you, and you make it known to me. I have heard of you by hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. So what, what Job is saying here is, is he's known all these things about God, right? He, he went, it's like he went to Rooted, and he listened to, to myself, and Miss Mandy, and Miss Lakin, and Mr. Cody, and Mr. Joey, everyone, Miss Sydney, everyone who's spoken, he's, they've gone, and he's listened, he's heard it right? But he doesn't really know it because he hasn't really seen, right? So how do you get to the point of, I know this stuff, to actually like knowing and applying it and using it in your life, right? We can't really know God until we have a relationship with him, right? We can know him from church, from our parents, from our friends, but we have to have a relationship with him. That's how we really get to know and understand God and who he is, right? All of you guys know me, right? I'm Mr. Matt. Um, I'm the cooler of the leaders between me and Joey, right? You guys know me. You know who I am. You know I'm really tall. Um, you know I like to play basketball. Um, you know I have long hair. Um, some of you call me Miss Jojo. You know all these things about me, right? But I know some of you, and some of you know me more than other people do, right? Because some of you have had me to over to your house. I've come over to your house. I've come over and eaten dinner with you guys. I've eaten lunch with some of you guys. I see some of you guys on church, at church on Sunday, right? I wear some of the same clothes as you guys every once in a while, right? We, I've seen you guys. You guys know me more other than someone who comes in for the first time, right? It's because they built, we built a relationship. We know each other. I know what your favorite animal is. I know what your what car your parents drive. I know where some of you live, right? I've been to some of your rooms, right? I know where you sleep. Um, it's because we built a relationship. And it's like the same thing with God, right? The closer we get to God, the more we know about God, the more of a relationship we're going to have with God, the more we're going to be able to understand him and know him, right? But the incredible thing is, is we'll never know all that there is to know, which is just amazing. We can spend the rest of our lives continually learning and being encouraged and being excited and just diving into the word and experiencing God. And that, that, is, that is what this unknown name means here, guys. This is what it means. It's like we will never fully know all there is to know about God. There's always going to be something else that we get to know and we get to learn about God, right? We have to go out and find that unknown name and experience God and build a relationship with him, right? So I'm going to wrap this up in prayer. And I hope to see you all soon, okay? So let's pray. 
God, I thank you that you are that you are unknown to us in certain areas of our life because that means we can continue to learn more about you. We can continue to try to, to gather information and have a relationship and build a relationship with you, Father. We know that the key aspect of building that relationship is putting our trust and our faith in you um, and realizing that you have saved us from a life of sin and you have the power to, to rescue us from the world, Lord. Um, I I thank you for that, and I ask that you would give us um, the hard um, drive and uh, power to learn more about you. What a great time it is right now. Um, As we're stuck at home and we don't have much to do, we can learn about you. We can open up our Bible, sit down, and learn more and more about you. I, I thank you for that, God, and I ask you would help us to use our time wisely to do that. In your name, amen.